So for our practice today, let's go ahead and start on our backs. So once you've got all your props, you'll just lie down on your back. And Erica, can you turn your camera down for me just a little bit? Perfect. And when you're on your back, go ahead and cactus the arms or just allow the arms to open out into a T shape. You can allow the legs to be long or the knees to be bent, whatever feels better to you. But you're gonna take this first few moments here to just take a big breath in through the nose and an audible exhalation out of the mouth. It could be a sigh, it could be a yawn, it could be any of the things that just enable you to start to connect and tune in with your body. So one of the benefits of being on Zoom and all of you being muted is nobody can hear you. Well, I can't hear you. So you can allow this breath to be as loud as it needs to be. And we'll just take one more long inhalation here and one more deep exhalation. From here, if the legs are straight, gently bend the knees, plant the feet firmly on the floor, and then draw your knees in towards your chest. Grab one shin with one hand and the other shin with the other hand. So you're holding both shins. And this first few things that you're going to do here is you'll just inhale and start to kick the shins away from you, straightening the arms. And then exhale, pulling the shins into the chest. And you've just got about five of these to start to release and wake up the low back, keeping the heels pretty close to your tuchus as you do this. And just feeling that little slight rounding as the knees come into the chest in the low back. And on this next exhalation, as the knees come into the chest, go ahead and squeeze them in a little tighter. Notice if you can breathe into the upper part of the chest and maybe rock just a little bit from right to left. If you're in movement, find yourself back into a still neutral spot. And this sounds really super weird, but as you inhale, kick both of your legs away from you, straightening your arms as much as you can, feet point down towards the floor. On your next exhalation, just pull your right knee in towards your chest, kick your left shin a little further away. And then inhale, send that leg back to meet its mate. And exhale, other side, pulling the left knee in, kicking the right shin away. Awesome. And you'll do this about five more times on your own, following the breath. The exhale, the right knee comes in, maybe you peer towards the left shoulder. And then you inhale through center and exhale, left knee in, maybe peer towards the right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch across the neck. And you'll just notice what you notice. The more that you can kick that shin away as you're holding on with your hands. There we go. You'll find that there's a little gentle stretch here. Awesome sauce. And once you're balanced between both sides, you'll go ahead and draw both knees back into the chest. Give yourself Another happy little hug. Exhaling all the breath. So our big focus of the breath today is on that exhalation. Gently release your head back to the floor if it lifted up and open both of your arms out to a T shape. So to the right and to the left. Now hug your knees, ankles and shins together. Actively flex through your feet and you can straighten your legs as much as you want or keep them bent at this 90 degree angle. It's totally up to you, but take a big breath in here. And as you exhale, let your legs go about a third of the way towards your right. Push your bottom knee into your top leg and just take a breath cycle in here and take a breath out. On your next inhalation, come back through center. And then exhale about a third away over to the left. And you'll take a complete breath cycle here, pushing the bottom knee into the top leg, breathing into your upper chest. Next in breath, come back through center. And we'll do this two more times each side, exhaling over to the right. The bottom knee presses into the top leg. 
when you'll find that as you're at about a third of the way over, you can feel that rooting of that left shoulder. Next inhalation, come back through center. And then exhale over towards your left. And again, the bottom leg presses into the top leg. You root into that right shoulder. Next in breath, come back through center. And this is the last set each side. And you're just noticing how there's a slight stretch along the low back as you root into that left shoulder. The abdomen keeps pulling in with every exhalation. And you inhale into the upper chest. Next in breath, come back through center. And exhale over towards your left. Nice work. Next in breath, come back to center. As you exhale, hug those knees into your chest once again. Maybe give a little squeeze of the shins, emptying the abdomen just a bit more. And then gently release your feet to the floor. Extend your right arm alongside your ears. Gently roll over onto your right side. And then continue to travel up to your hands and knees. Now, when you get to your hands and knees, I highly encourage you to pad your knees with a blanket, but you choose to do whatever works for you. That might not be something you wish to do. And then from here, walk your hands forward about two to three inches. We're gonna start with chakra vrakrasana. Keep the tops of the feet to the floor. Hands are shoulder distance apart. And then inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, scoop the belly, push your sit bones back towards your heels, little modified child's pose. Awesome sauce. Inhale, come forward, hands and knees. At the end of the in-breath, lift the gaze. And as you exhale, start to tuck chin to chest, belly to spine, press yourself back towards your heels. And you've got about four more of these. And the first thing I just encourage you to do is notice how long you can make your breath. So inhaling, coming forward, end of the in-breath, lift the gaze. And then top of the exhalation, chin to chest, navel to spine, hips to heels, chest to thighs. Nice work. Two more sets on your own. We're just noticing the tone of that exhalation. So in order for us to assimilate things, to notice the things that we are grateful for and be able to activate that in our lives so that it can show up in new and important ways in terms of our understanding, there's a bit of assimilation that needs to happen. And more importantly, a bit of elimination that needs to happen. So we're doing that on a very subtle level with the exhalation, trying to let go of the things that we don't need to so we can create space for something new to come. Next time as you're in child's pose, you'll just stay there and take three steady breaths. And what, as you're there in that child's pose, I encourage you to, again, pay attention to the breath and the abdomen, noticing how the be belly is pushing into the thighs and then you can find space in the low back. And you can deepen that exhalation even more, finding a little bit of a pull in and up. All right. On your next in-breath, go ahead and come up up to hands and knees. And then as you exhale, step back or stand up on your shins. So we'll shift our weight back and stand tall on our shins. Bring both of your hands to your low back, stacking the palms on top of each other, facing away from you. And then you inhale, sweep your left arm up and overhead, maybe gaze up towards the hand. As you exhale, look towards the right, sweep the left hand back and bring your belly to your thighs, your head towards the floor. Inhale, sweep the right arm out and up and come back up to center, arm reaches up, maybe gaze looks up. And then exhale, sweep the right arm back, look towards the left, belly comes in, belly to thighs, head to floor. And we've got four sets of these. So inhale, left arm sweeps out and up and overhead. And then exhale, left arm swims back, reach out through the fingers so we can start to mobilize our shoulder joint. Awesome sauce. Inhale, sweep out through the right arm, coming up and overhead. And exhale, reach out through the right fingers, look to the left, reaching back like you're diving through water. And two more sets on your own, inhaling, swimming through the left arm, up and overhead. 
and then exhale, looking to the right as you swim the left arm back. And then inhale, swimming out through the right, reaching it up and overhead, gaze comes center. And then exhale, right arm reaches out and back as you gaze towards the left. Here's our last set. And you're just noticing how steady and how smooth you can make the breath. We're trying to build a little bit of strength as well as heat in our low back, as well as mobility in our shoulder joint. Not to mention paying attention to what's happening in the breath. The next time you're down in that child's pose with your hands on your sacrum, just stay there. Release your hands alongside your hips to the floor and just take three breaths. Again, noticing the pressure that's created from the thighs into the belly, into the chest, and seeing if you could breathe just a bit more deeply. Awesome sauce. Start to walk your hands forward. And then inhale, come to hands and knees, tabletop position. Walk your hands about two inches forward, spread wide through the fingers. And then exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose. And we've just got about four sets of these. So inhale, come down to that tabletop position, hover for a moment. And then exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. And you just got three more of those on your own, noticing how long you can make the breath. Yeah. And you just hover those knees for a second as you come down. Nice job, guys. This next time you come forward into that tabletop position, let's just go ahead and hover there for a moment. Push down into your hands a lot. Push down into your toes. Let those knees hover about two inches up and away from the floor. Extend your crown forward and your pelvis back. And then see if you can pull your front ribs in and back. And just take a moment to pause and breathe here. Next exhalation, push down into index fingers and thumbs. Start to push your pelvis up and back. Keep your knees super for bent and then very slowly just lower one heel to the floor as you breathe in and out and then you'll slowly switch sides lowering the other heel to the floor as you breathe in and out and you'll just do that two more times really paying attention to how the breath is moving through the body now And when you feel complete, you'll go ahead and come to a still neutral spot. Straighten your legs to whatever degree works for you. And again, push the L shape of the hand down and forward, but hug the L shape towards one another and see if you can then suck the hands back to the toes, the toes forward towards the hands. Nice job. Next in breath, go ahead and gaze towards your hands. And as you exhale, bend the knees, empty the belly and travel to your hands. Nice work. When you get to your feet, or rather get to your hands, take a moment to clasp opposite elbow and just take a moment to breathe here. Maybe you sway, maybe you don't. But again, we're paying attention to that exhalation. This forward fold makes it easier to empty the belly here. And we're just noticing the breath in that center. My teacher says that when our center is really strong, and not just physically, but energetically, we can eliminate a whole lot of things and we stay in a natural state of health and joy. All right, if you're in movement, go ahead and come to stillness. Release your hands down to the floor and then bring one hand to one hip, another hand to the other hip. Draw your shoulders onto your back and then inhale, come all the way up very slowly. Take a moment to stabilize. So you might need to tuck your chin to your chest for a moment as you lift up through the sternum and then release your hands alongside your hips. You might choose to separate your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, but I would encourage you to start at least hip distance apart. And then we're gonna do about five of these. So inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. 
As you exhale, bend your knees, sit through chair, hinge at your hips, and bring your fingers all the way down to the floor alongside your feet. Inhale, reach forward through the hands, coming through a flat back to sit into chair. Exhale, stay right here. Next in breath, stand up, reach up, look up. And as you exhale, turn the palms out to lower the hands alongside your hips. We got four of those. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up and overhead. As you exhale, bend your knees, sit your pelvis back, hinge at the hips, reach through the fingers, coming all the way into this weird forward fold chair pose. Next in breath, reach forward through the hands to sit back into chair. And then exhale, stay right here. Inhale, stand up, reach up, look up. And then exhale, turn the palms out and open the arms out to the side. You've got two more sets on your own. See how long you can make your breath as you inhale and circle sweep your arms up and overhead. And then notice how long you can make the exhale as you sit your pelvis back and then hinge at the hips and then empty the belly to reach forward through the fingers down to the floor. Then inhaling, reaching forward through the fingers, hinging back at the hips, sitting into your chair pose. Exhaling, staying right here. And then inhale to push through the legs, reach up through the fingers. And exhale to open the palms and lower the hands. Last set on your own. And you're just noticing how full you can make your breath. Giving ourselves the opportunity to take in new information and giving ourselves the opportunity to eliminate that which we no longer need so that we can actually assimilate the things that are good for us. Nice work. Once you stand tall, just take three steady breaths there and notice what you notice. Keep the heart and chest lifted, the gaze steady on the horizon. Awesome sauce. All right, let's go ahead and add on. Step your right foot back. <laughs> Step your right foot back. We're gonna go for a warrior one, well, pyramid pose actually. So step your right foot back, bring your left hand behind you so your palm faces behind you like it did a little bit earlier. And then bring a slight bend into your front knee. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and overhead. And as you exhale, start pulling the belly back, hinging at the hips, reaching out through the fingertips all the way down towards the floor. And then you'll inhale and reach out through the fingers to come all the way back up to vertical. And we got five of these. So exhale, navel to spine, hinge at the hips, reach out through the right elbow and fingers. And then inhaling, coming all the way back up. Nice job. For these next three sets, see if you can make the breath about five counts as you exhale and come all the way down. Yep. Nice job. And for the last two sets, see if you can make it maybe six counts. We're allowing the exhalation to come in to stabilize our sacrum. It also gives us a sense of willpower and well-being. We want to make sure that as you guys come in and you come out, the chin is coming into the chest. Yep, there you go, Sandy. There you go, Erica. Nice, Robin. Yeah, there you go, Roberta. And then this next time you come forward, we'll just go ahead and plant that right hand, maybe on the floor or a block, push down into the right fingertips. You might lower the left hand or keep it exactly as it is, but you'll take three breaths here, drawing that outer left hip back, making the spine as vertical or not as vertical as long as it can be, and slightly tucking your chin into your chest so that, yep, there you go, Erica, so that the head continues in the same line. Awesome sauce. Either hands come to hips or just the left hand comes to the back of the sacrum, but you'll inhale and come all the way back up to vertical. 
and then exhale, step to the top of your space. Take a moment to pause and just notice if you notice anything different between the right and the left side. Awesome, sauce. Go ahead and step your opposite foot back. So now the left foot steps back, the right foot is forward. Right hand comes to the back of the right hip. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and overhead. And then exhale, start to hinge at the hips, reaching out through the left elbow, the left fingertips, all the way down to the floor. Yep. And then inhale, reach out to come up. So the fingers drop as big a circle as you can make them. Nice job. Four more on your own. Seeing if maybe these two could be about five counts down. Yep. And as we work with the wobbles, we're slowly toning our parasympathetic nervous system here. That's really what's happening by paying attention to the breath and the abdomen. But you'll notice that you're also breathing into the chest to come up and that's activating our sympathetic nervous system. So we're trying to balance the two so that we can assimilate all of life's experiences and turn them into wisdom. Maybe these last two sets become six counts. So as you come forward, keep reaching out through the left fingertips. Yep. And then as you come out of it, keep reaching out through the left fingertips. And then on this next set, you'll just go ahead and lower that left hand to the floor. Maybe lower the right hand to the floor. And you'll just take a moment to pause and to breathe. And you're taking your time. We all breathe at different paces. That's definitely one of those things that I'm working to assimilate in my own life. My own pace is my own pace. Awesome sauce. From here, maybe you bring that right hand back to the back of the right pelvis. And maybe you bring both hands to the hips, but you'll inhale and come all the way up. Awesome sauce. Go ahead and step to the top of your space, lowering both hands down. And just notice what you notice between the sides. And then we're going to add on. <laughs> okay, step your right foot back again this time you're going to take warrior one now i want you to take enough of a stance that you feel like your spine has to hinge forward just a little bit so you create a diagonal from your head through your shoulders through your hips through your back heel and then you're going to bring your hands to heart center cool we're going to do four of these inhale circle sweep your arms out and up and overhead and then exhale, the arms swim out and back towards your heart center. And as you inhale, you're breathing into the chest, into the ribs, into the armpits. As you exhale, you're pulling the front ribs in and back, toning into the abdomen. And you got two more on your own, inhaling into the armpits, the chest, upper ribs. And exhale, front row ribs come in and back, tone into the navel. And last time, inhaling. And exhaling. Okay, next in breath, go ahead and straighten your front leg as you circle sweep the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, both hands come forward, both hips go back, hinging into pyramid pose, hands down to the floor or blocks. Awesome sauce. From here, inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, bend the front knee, shift your weight forward, lift your right leg parallel to the floor, walk your hands and blocks forward so they're underneath your shoulders. Pause, flex through that back foot a lot. Pull your navel into your spine and maybe you float your hands to your heart center and lift your spine parallel to the floor for warrior three. But you've got three breaths. Keep lifting through your back inner thigh, drawing that outer left hip back. Nice job, guys. 
Next exhalation, hands come back to floor or blocks. Inhale here. Exhale, step your right foot back. And then inhale, come back up for warrior one, arms high. Yep. Exhale, straighten the front leg. And then bend the front knee, step to the top of your space. Notice what you notice. Lower the hands down. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna try all that on the other side. So go ahead and step your left foot back for Virbha one. Bring your hands to heart center. Bend that front knee as much as you can and you wanna tilt your spine forward so you're on a diagonal, yep. And then inhale, circle sweep the arms, reaching out, breathing into upper ribs, upper chest. And exhaling, hands to heart center, front ribs coming back. And you've got three more sets on your own. As you're going through these repetitions, I invite you to notice what you notice about your own movement and patterns in this shape. One of the benefits of repetition is it allows us to tap into where we have habituated to certain ways of being. And through that repeat contact, change the ways in which we're showing up. Yep. Nice work, guys. Stay with your breath. Yay. Okay. Next inhalation, straighten the front leg, circle, sweep the arms. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, draw that right hip back, reach forward through both fingers all the way down to the floor or block. Yep, inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, bend your front knee, shift your weight forward, float your left leg parallel to the floor. Walk those hands forward so they're underneath your shoulders and flex through that back foot a lot. So you can stay right here with hands on block or start to float hands to heart center. If you do that, you lift the spine parallel to the floor and keep lifting through that inner left thigh. Yeah, guys. Next exhalation, hands come to the floor. Take a big breath in here, and then exhale, step that left foot back. And inhale, come up for warrior one. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Lower the arms, step to the top of your space. Take a moment to just notice what you notice. Okay. Turn to face the side of your space. Separate your feet about three feet apart, maybe a little wider depending upon how much mobility you've got. Highly encouraged to keep this. So you're gonna bend your left knee, bend your left knee. Open both arms out so they're parallel to the floor. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, you'll start to lower your right hand underneath your face down to the floor, left arm reaches up. And then you'll inhale and come back to vertical. As you exhale, we'll go back towards the left. Now the right hand comes closer to the left foot, left knee stays bent. And inhale, come back through center. And third time's the charm. Exhale all the way over. Maybe the right hand comes to the outside edge of the left foot. And inhale, come back to center. Now go to whichever one felt better to you of all the three. I'm going to go to the second one. You choose whichever one you wanted. And you'll stay there. Inhale, push down into your right hand. Reach up through your left. As you exhale, pull the navel in towards the spine. Now inhale, gaze up towards your left hand. As you swim your left hand forward over your left ear parallel to the floor. And then exhale, swim the left hand back up towards the sky, pulling the navel into the spine. And you've got four of those. Inhaling, swimming left arm forward and over your ear. Exhale, scooping the belly, reaching the hand back up. Nice work. Two more, inhaling arm coming up and overhead. Yep, exhaling hand back towards the sky. Last one, inhale up and overhead. 
and exhale back to the sky. Now stay here for three breaths, push down into your bottom hand, reach up through the top, keep your left knee bent and feel that rotation that's happening perhaps in your shoulder blades, in the thoracic spine, or maybe in your low back, depending upon where you put your hand. Nice job. Next in breath, go ahead and come back up through center. Exhale, lower both hands down and just pause and notice what you notice happening in the body. One side might feel drastically different than the other. Great, and then we'll go ahead and try that on the other side. So bend your right knee a lot, open your arms out to the right and to the left. Take a big breath in here. And then exhale, lower that left hand directly in the middle of your feet. Inhale, come back up through vertical. And exhale, left hand a little closer towards the right foot, fingers pointing towards the right. Inhale, back up through center. And exhale, maybe the left hand outside of the right toes. And inhale, back up to center. And then this time, wherever it felt best to you. So this time, I'll go to the third set. It doesn't have to be the same each side, but you'll just notice. And then you'll inhale, push down into your left hand, reach up through the right. Next exhalation, draw the navel in a little bit more. And then inhale, swim your right arm up and overhead, look towards your right hand. Exhale, scoop the belly, swim the right arm back up. And you've got four of these. And you're just noticing how we're using the shoulder joint to mobilize the thoracic spine. You might find that that enables you to twist a little bit more towards the right, but we're not trying to force anything. We're allowing the breath and the movement to naturally open. Awesome thoughts. And then the next time your right arm is up and overhead, you'll just pause there for three steady breaths. Noticing what you notice here. Nice work, guys. Next in breath, unwind, come back up to center. And as you exhale, just lower the hands and notice what you notice here. How's the energy in the body? For a quick stabilizing, slide your hands down the outer edges of your thighs and fold all the way into Prasarada Padatanasana. And you'll just take three breaths here. And again, you're just noticing what you notice. We wanna be able to metabolize everything that happens to us so that it can be nurturing to us. Awesome sauce, all right. Inhale, slide your hands up to your hips. Draw your shoulders onto your back, bend your knees just a bit. Keep your chin tucking into your chest. Yep, and then inhale, come up to vertical. Step your feet together. Yay! And then turn to face the top of your space. We're gonna try to add all those things together now. So stand at the top of your space. Go ahead and step your right foot back for warrior one. So your left foot will stay forward. Hand will come back into heart center. Great. From here, make sure you're at that little diagonal and you'll inhale, circle, sweep your arms up and over your head. Awesome sauce. Exhale, start to reach forward through your hands, shift your weight forward, coming into warrior three, lifting that back leg up and away from the floor. Yeah, guys, flex through that back foot. Take a breath in here. Next exhalation, fingers come down to the floor or the blocks. Great, keep lifting through your right hip. This is gonna sound super weird. Every in-breath, lift the outer right hip up. Every exhalation, you'll start to pull your belly in and rotate your rib cage to the left. You might draw the left hand to the left hip. You might draw the left hand up towards the sky, but you've got four breath cycles here. Inhale, lift the outer right hip. Exhale, scoop the belly and rotate to the left. Inhale, lift the outer left hip or outer right hip. 
Exhale, scoop the belly and rotate to the left. Inhale, lift the outer right hip. Yep, exhale, scoop the belly and rotate to the left. Nice job. Gently lower that left hand if it lifted. Inhale here and exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, come all the way up for warrior one. And then exhale, step to the top of your space. Pause and notice. Lower the hands and just breathe. Cool. We're going to try all that on the other side now. Go ahead and step your left foot back. Right foot forward, find your warrior one, hinging a little bit at the hips, hands to heart center. And then inhale, circle sweep the arms out and up and overhead. As you exhale, hinge more at the hips, reach forward through the fingers, shift the weight forward, lift up through that left leg. Yeah, look at that. Awesome, and you'll just take a pause and you'll take a moment to breathe. Next exhalation, fingers come down to the floor or the blocks. Great. You might stay right here and just every inhalation lifting that outer left hip, every exhalation pulling the belly in and starting to rotate the spine to the right. Maybe the right hand comes to the right hip, maybe the right hand floats up, but every in breath with the left hip, so that's the one behind you, Every exhalation, navel to spine, rotate to the right. Two more. Inhale, lifting outer left hip. Exhale, belly to spine, rotating to the right. Nice job, guys. Last one. Inhale here. And exhale. Gently release that right hand to the floor. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, come up for warrior one. And exhale, step to the top of your space. Take a moment to pause and breathe. All right, let's go ahead and add on. Inhale, circle sweep both of your arms up and overhead. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, but keep the arms up and overhead coming into a forward fold. Boop, 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 boop. Yay. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bend your knees, plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog pose. And in downward facing dog, push down through the L shape of your hands, index fingers and thumbs. Hug those points towards each other like you're trying to squish your mat together. And then pull those points back towards your feet Feet as you pull your feet isometrically forward towards your hands. And then see if you can just breathe into your abdomen here, noticing the inhalation and noticing the exhalation. Awesome sauce. All right, next in breath, go ahead and lower your knees to the mat. Tuck your toes under and sit yourself back for toe squat. Now, this is super weird, I'm not gonna lie. I did this this morning and it felt really awesome and I don't know why, but we're gonna do this. So you're gonna interlace your hands to the back of your head and you're just gonna take some cats and cows in this orientation. So the chest will come up, you'll inhale, look up and you'll exhale and round in and look in. And you've just got about four of these. It feels kind of fun to watch the sinewy way in which your spine and your vertebra work. It's also a nice little counterbalance considering we've done all these asymmetrical things and it's now we're moving hopefully in tandem on the right and on the left. So we'll just take about three more sets of these. that you come to a neutral spine you'll release your hands to the floor tops of the feet to the floor pitter patter your toes having a happy little temper tantrum and then you'll shift your weight back for a counter stretch if that feels good to you
uh, some sauce. Once you're done, you'll sit around on your butt. So swim your legs around in front of you. <laughs> I liked that, Roberta. <laughs> Excuse me, that's gross. And then you might wanna sit on a blanket. You might not, but we're gonna take Sukhasana. So cross your ankles so they're directly underneath your shins. It kind of feels like your shins just hug or rather rest into the arches of your ankles. Remove any of the flesh from underneath both of your sit bones. And this is probably one of those, depending upon how much mobility you have in your hips and your low back, your blocks might really want to come along to help you because you're just gonna hinge forward, creating a long line until you find a fun stretch that's happening in your outer hips. And some of you might be able to lower your forearms all the way down to the floor. Some of you will be like, yep, Jessica, that's not happening today. And you'll just be right here. But you're paying attention to what's happening on your outer hips as you hinge at your hips, trying to make as long of a line as possible, breathing wherever you happen to notice the most pronounced sensation. And you've just got three more breath cycles here before we switch to the other shin. So take a note of which leg is in front. And then at the end of your next exhalation, you'll start to walk yourself back up to a vertical position. Notice which shin is in front and switch to the opposite shin being in front. Again, notice if you need to remove any flesh. And then you'll hinge at your hips and come forward until you feel some stuff happening in your outer hips. You might even feel it in your low back, but you're trying to keep your spine again on that diagonal first. And once you can find that diagonal, you might then be able to soften the upper chest. And then wherever you are, please breathe into your belly. We've got about two more breath cycles here. The end of your next exhalation. You'll start to walk yourself back up to a vertical position. Take a moment to pause. <laughs> and you'll make your way onto your backs. When you find yourself on your back, highly encourage you to start wrapping or Wrapping your body to get cold. We're going to do a few things on your back and then it'll be Shavasana time before breathing time. And I also encourage you to make sure your blocks are somewhere easily accessible to you when you get onto your back. And the first thing you'll do is just notice what you notice in the shape, how the body is feeling now. How's the energy? Where do you notice it in the body? Where do you notice the breath in the body? And then gently, let's bend our knees, plant our feet firmly on the floor. Grab one of your blocks and plant it in between your thigh bones, whatever setting feels best to you. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart and the heels are turned in or out as much as you need and hands are alongside your hips. Okay, walk your shoulders just slightly up towards your ears, just a little bit. So we'll do about four of these. Inhale, push through the feet, lift the hips, squeeze the block. And then exhale, lower the pelvis back down. See if you can keep the whole ball of the foot pressing into the floor as you lift up. Yep, and slowly lowering down. So this is just to stabilize your sacrum and your low back from all the things that we did. I like that, Sandy. And this is also just to help you reconnect with 
keeping an open heart to all the things that are in your life. I think that's one of the great things that gratitude does for us. Is it helps us keep an open heart by keeping our perspective in check. Okay. The next time your hips are high, you can start to walk your shoulder blades underneath you if you want to and clasp opposite hands. Now I want you to make sure that the shoulders are up enough towards your ear that C7, the base of your cervical spine, feels like it's off the floor. And it feels like you can push the upper arms into the floor and you can push your feet into the floor. You can hug those blocks until you feel the backs of your glutes and your hamstrings start to fire. And then the sternum will come a little bit closer towards your chin. Your chin will come away from the sternum and you'll press into the back center of the skull. And we'll just take three to five more steady breaths here. Noticing where the breath is now. Do you now feel it in the abdomen? Do you feel it in the chest? And at the end of your next exhalation, gently unclasp the hands, untuck the shoulders, bring the pelvis to the floor and pause. Okay. Now, when you're here, take a moment. You might need some final shapes or you might wanna go directly to Supta Baddha Konasana, but I encourage you to check in and listen. Our gut brain is in our belly. So we're asking ourselves to really listen to that. So Supta Baddha Konasana might be right where you're going. You might feel like you need a very gentle twist. But the final shape that we will end up in is either Supta Baddha Konasana or Shavasana. So you'll take your time getting there, really paying attention. And when you find yourself in your final shape, I do encourage you to really take the opportunity to wrap the body in any way that feels best. And if you are still moving, you continue to do what works for you. And you can join us when you're ready. Okay. So the first thing that we'll do in this final shape is I want you to just start by first noticing any part of the body that feels like it's holding. So if you need to fidget around a little bit so the right and the left sides feel even, please do that. And then start to notice where you can soften the weight of the body into the support beneath you, both into the floor as well as into the blocks if you're using them. Notice how you can start to soften any muscular energy. And we'll end very similar to the way that we started with three audible exhales. So just taking the inhalation and then exhalation, letting things settle and fall. Now for today, we're going to do something that is a very specific Kriya. And a Kriya is an energizing technique. It's also an active meditation. It's also a cleansing technique. So we're doing all of these things. I want you to imagine or experience or perceive or receive. That is, you inhale, energy is coming in through the crown of your head like stars from the sky. They're traveling, spiraling into your abdomen. You're holding your awareness there, watching these things burst into fire, into heat, into energy. And then as you exhale, you send that energy to every cell of your body. So as you inhale, the energy comes in from the stars, the cosmos, 
in through the skull, down to the navel. We collect that energy there, watching it transform, watching it transmute. And then you exhale and send that energy to every cell of your body. We'll do that for a few more minutes, drawing the energy in, letting it build, letting it intensify, and then sending that health, that energy, that heat, that light to every cell of your being. As you continue, you may find that there's a certain point at which your body feels full. And when you get to that point, you can just allow your awareness to rest in the abdomen. I'll let you know when it's time to come out. Start to return your awareness to your breath. And as you come back to your breath, I invite you to invite small, gentle movements into the physical form in whatever way feels best to you. If you're still in Supta Baddha Konasana, go ahead and draw the hands to the outer edges of the thighs and close your knees together like a book. And then we'll gently make our way over to our right side. Take a moment to pause there and just allow the weight of the body to be received by the support of the floor. And then gently, you'll roll your chest more towards the floor, press into your left hand and draw yourself to a tall, comfortable seat. 
And when you are vertical, I do encourage you to elevate your bum on a block or a blanket. And set yourself in such a way that we can do a few moments of pranayama and a little bit of just seated meditation without being too uncomfortable. So you will take your left hand, tuck your index finger into the base of your thumb and either let that palm rest up or down on your left thigh, whatever feels best to your chest. And then you'll take your right hand and tuck the middle finger and index finger down towards the heel of the thumb. Bring the right thumb to the right nostril, the right ring finger to the left. Gently exhale all the breath from your mouth. Close your left nostril and inhale through your right. Top of your inhalation, go ahead and close your left nostril and exhale out through your right. When you need to, you'll draw the breath in through your right. And then exhale out through your left when you need to. Now, as you take these for the next few moments, I invite you to come to a one, two breath. So if your inhalation is four counts, can you make your exhalation eight? If it's five counts, can you make the exhalation 10? We're just noticing what it takes to allow our minds to just rest on the breath. Slowly letting the breath become a little longer. As you Continue to breathe. How effortless can you make the exhalations? There's not any straining or struggling as you elongate the breath. There is no rush. And the next time you exhale through the left nostril, simply lower your right hand. From here, continue to sit as tall as you can and bring your awareness just to your abdomen. And just watch what's happening in the abdomen. Noticing as you breathe in and you breathe out. You might find that just being here, the mind starts to settle and quiet. You might find that being here, the mind becomes restless. In either case, just allow your awareness to rest on the abdomen, watching the flow of the breath as it comes in, watching the breath as it goes out. Whenever the mind wanders, no worries, just 
come back to the breath, allowing it to just rest in the abdomen, allowing the awareness to rest in the abdomen. For this very simple practice, we're connecting our breath to our body, to our mind, And through this very simple practice, we're training ourselves to have the ability to start to bring a sense of intentionality of breath and of presence to all aspects of our life. Take three more breath cycles here. And at the end of your third exhalation, draw your hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Press your palms into each other. Receive the weight of your thumbs into your sternum and lift your hearts towards your hands. Allow your chin to soften towards your chest. And in this moment, say a silent prayer of gratitude, knowing that even doing that is bringing our body, our mind, our heart, our breath into the present moment. And with that, the light within me honors and salutes the light within each of you. Namaste.